My previous job to this was quite practical. Um, I was working with my hands all the time as well, but it was so boring. It was the same thing day in, day out. It was very repetitive and I just got fed up with it. Well, my partner found the job on the internet, so I got the phone number from there and, and rang the office and they sent me out an application form. And then I got an interview and just went from there. Well, obviously you start as a trainee and then you get all your training and stuff. They, they keep you in the branch for a long time, looking over you, watching over you all the time. Then we go up to the skill centre for, for two weeks. A lot of it, most of it was practical. We'd done the, um, the whole practical side of it, the changing the windscreens and, and all the, the glass and everything. Obviously we'd done a bit of a rip work, we watched a lot of videos and had to answer questions on it. We had little questionnaires and stuff like that. When they think you're confident enough and they, they come and assess you to make sure that you can do the job properly and that's when they sign you off and, and um, you, know, you become a level one. I felt a bit out of place when I first started, obviously being the only female there. Um, I, I wasn't sure what they were going to think of me or how they were going to take me, but, but they were fine, they were really good. At first I, I worried a bit about the, the lifting the screens and the, the weight and stuff. I, I was a bit worried about that. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it because there's a lot more to it than what I first thought. But um, you know, with the right training and that is fine. I think I was one of the first people to get the little buddy, but I'd, I'd be stuck without it because it takes a lot of the weight of the glass for me. And that was, like I said, that was my, one of my main worries to start with was the lifting end. And it has helped me a lot that way. I'd be stuck without it. It doesn't take the complete weight. You've still got to take a lot of the weight yourself. It just assists you. And it also, you, it's more accurate as well when you drop through the glass in. I like working for Autoglass because I like the fact that you can get out and about. I hate being stuck in one place all the time, so it's nice to get out and get a bit of fresh air and meet new people every day. You've definitely got to have good customer service. Um, obviously have pride in your work and um, your workmanship. It's got to be spot on because you can't you know, scratch a car to bits or anything. I think a lot of people prefer to see a woman, especially if it is a woman. I also get blokes that think that maybe a bloke should be doing it as well because they look at me and say, what are you going to do it, sort of thing, you know, so I'm, yeah, <laughs> that's all right with you. <laughs> it's great having your own van. Another good reason, you don't have to pay for the fuel either, so that's good. Obviously, I've got all my tools in here, spend a lot of time in here. Well, I would say other girls should, should give it a go if that's what they want to do. I mean, it's hard work. If they're willing to work hard and, and get on with it, then there's no reason why they can't do it. <laughs>